the clown circus is absolutely real with this one here, folks. So uh, a lot of people are dunking on X Define, and X Define recently just released. And I, I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Uh, get ready for the plot twist here. But yesterday we took a look at why this game is the best thing ever. So we were checking out a video from uh, a disgruntled Call of Duty fan account. Uh, basically, doesn't like Call of Duty no more, but loves X Define, and you know had their points, this and that. And we were looking at it right because right now some people are loving this game but other people not so much though yay and we're gonna take a look at this one like the video if you just want a good game bro dislike if not i want to know where you guys at but today we're taking a look at a call of duty fan that loves call of duty but hates x defined all right we gotta give everybody an equal chance there ladies and gentlemen we're gonna dive right into it put your seat belts on because i don't think you're gonna like the ride tonight because they're about to get a little bumpy though roll it I'm going to start this video out with getting right to the most important point before I go on further okay. in this video because most people who watch YouTube videos only watch like 30 or 40% yeah. of it and then they think they have an idea about what the person is talking about. It's like reading a book, reading half of it and think you know the story. So let me get to a really important point before I go okay. any further. I love that. Do I, I think that. X Defiant is a bad game? No. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm re-editing this video right now in real time. I just finished playing it. I tried to play it. It fucking sucks. It yeah. is horrible. Okay. Yeah, here we go again, guys. Yeah, this is this is what I was waiting for. Yeah, I I, I, I was shocked, like, right there. I was like, what? Yesterday, we were, you were saying that the game sucks, and now you're saying the game is good? Oh, she, right? Okay, but, but yeah, this is what I was talking about, guys. Here we go. Specialists are lame. They're stupid. They have basically super-duper painkiller and all super every thing that anyone ever has played a first-person shooter hates it has automatic radar hacks with okay. the stupid broad and little goggles to tell you exactly where you are it takes but swag never even heard of a radar hack bro. 40 hours in order to kill somebody and there is no multi kills bailey ever it is boring it is okay. dumb this game will be dead in two weeks it'll fall off harder than my hair is blame truth the clown father himself which i'll get into a little further in this video for what? being and having the absolute <clears throat> worst takes no, in the call no. hey yo what Come on, man. Come on, man. I always hit it when my superheroes fight. Uh, if you don't know, yeah, yesterday we saw the homie Blame Truth's uh, review. He hates Call of Duty, uh, but loves X Define, and uh, he gave his review. The, the funniest thing is that he gave his review after playing one game. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know man, I don't know, but a lot of you guys are also saying the game sucks and a lot of you all are also saying the game is amazing Very few of you are kind of like in the middle because right now I'm in the middle and I'm not gonna like fake it or anything I have not played this game so I cannot give you my opinion basically I'm the, I hope it succeeds, but I think this game is not for me though. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I, but I really want this game succeeding though, and I'm trying to see both sides there why people think it's bad and why people think it's good. Okay, so definitely let me know your experience. But wait for it, wait for it, guys, wait for it. Community and openly admits doesn't even play the game, but yet complains about it and has taken it recently. That X Define has killed Call of yeah, Duty is one. the dumbest thing I've ever heard anybody say in a Call of Duty. Yeah, I'll link you that video. This is the one that we, we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, he played one game and said the game was good, so. And guilty. And uh, not just that, he's, he played one game, said that it killed Call of Duty. This charge, I have said some pretty dumb things about Call of Duty, but this guy takes a cake when it comes to the worst takes I've ever heard in my entire life in Man. Call of Duty history. But like I said, this game is good. It's a six or seven out of 10. No, it isn't. I changed my mind. I've been playing it more. It sucks. Not a seven. I give it a three at best. Game is horrible. But one thing the clown father himself said is that X Define is like a Black Ops 4 sequel. And this is yeah. where I'd like to also make myself clear. This game in no way whatsoever could be even closely related or even nearly as good as Black Ops 4, even though Black Ops 4 was not that great of a call to duty, even though Damn. it might be one of the better ones in the last few years. But yeah. trying to say this is a Black Ops 4 sequel, it's like trying to say Blame Truth is tall. It has no bearing in reality whatsoever so making it clear x defined is a fine game it's six or seven out of ten nope it's a three out of ten at best it's worse than i thought <laughs> trying to say that it's a call of duty killer or it's an x break first person shooter is okay so far you heard like the quick little summary before we get deep into this one what do you think 
is the homie coping here, the homie spitting facts. I always hate it when my superheroes are fighting though, like don't get me wrong, like we got Biden fighting with like Captain Canada, but most of the time, or not Captain Canada, Justin Trudeau, my bad guys. Bruh. Like he, he's he's Justin Trudeau, this is Captain Canada, Justin Trudeau, 8 thoughts, little 8 thoughty right there, love the little 8 thoughty for sure, but like, damn man, so, uh, but, but it's like, I never thought Justin Trudeau would be provoking Biden, Biden happens to be uh, like, uh, you, you know what I mean, like, uh, let me actually show you guys the picture of Biden real quick here, yeah, this is Biden, blame Trudeau, that's Biden, because he's from America, right, and Captain Canada, who's like, Justin Trudeau, he's in Canada here, so, you know, Justin Pr uh, Trudeau, I never thought that we're gonna ever uh, see a day where Justin Trudeau is the one that starts shies, right, he has started the shiza with, uh, with Biden, so Biden versus Justin Trudeau, guys, crazy timeline absolutely clown behavior and ridiculous to say and completely unrealistic and anybody who's saying that is either one clickbaiting for views or a moron who tries to sell people 1400 led retard hair growth helmets and drives a subaru <laughs> and probably votes for joe biden so am i clear yeah! i hope i'm clear my yeah! Pump the brakes, son. Pump the brakes. I mean, dead. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what happened. Clown. You said clown truth. The whole point and the whole joke is this: is that X Defy is a free-to-play, very small game. The development team is very small. The budget is small. It's not a AAA development. To try to compare it to something like Black Ops 4 as a sequel is really Man. dumb. X Defiant is bare bones compared to a Call of Duty game. There isn't a whole lot to it. The battle pass is limited. The is, is that true? Is that true or fal false? Let me know. Skins are limited. The amount of unlocking to do is limited. The amount of game modes is limited. There is no team deathmatch. There is no free for all. Everything what? is team based game. You, okay, deadass, no team deathmatch? Bro, that's like the, the basic the, dog. That's the basic thing any FPS game should have and it needs. Mandatory. Just like how you need 60 FPS, that, at least for like FPS games, not talking single player games here, but just like how 60 FPS is mandatory, Team Deathmatch is mandatory too. Okay, this one, this is what, this one's crazy, bro. Which no one plays anymore, everyone just runs around like it's Team Deathmatch and no one could actually plays the objective. Trying to compare Black Ops 4 with the specialists and the different yeah. people you could choose and all the different abilities is nuts. The abilities and how in depth and how much content there was in a game like Black Ops 4 compared to X Define is just, it's not even, even comparable. It's not, it's not at all. And people yeah. trying to hype this game up are just delusional. If you like it, like I said, it's fine. Maybe it's a five yeah. out of 10, six out of 10. Nope, it's like a two or three out of 10, sucks. Eight Thoughts, which I am not, because I'm the ghost of eight, but Eight Thoughts did a poll on his Twitter account and he asked people this question. Okay, Extra let's fun. see. Good, meh, or haven't played it. The yeah, vast I, I haven't played it. This is where I'm at. And, and I'm not gonna like try to be fake here, guys. The reason I haven't played it is because like, of course, busy with life. I uh, got like s stuff happening uh, behind the scenes as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like making videos on this channel and on the second channel where we uh, upload like UFO content, conspiracy content. If you like that stuff, definitely check out the pinned comment with all the Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all the my second channels and whatnot. Definitely would love you forever. But, but yeah, I haven't played it. But yeah, that's factor number one, right? But factor number Number two is that this game to me uh it doesn't pull me in though it doesn't pull me in though but still i want it to succeed and i mentioned those reasons in the last video as well simply put like i i want this uh i, I want call of duty to have competition so call of duty can be better in the future a and you to also get a good game me as well like yeah more good games not gonna hurt the market it's only gonna push the envelope further it's only gonna push innovation further because if this game succeeds i, I want it to succeed first of all even if i turn even if i play the game later on and i don't like it right even then i want this game to succeed because if this game succeeds then activision would have to do better if this game sucks then i mean yeah wah, 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 uh, they don't have to do anything like they are doing nothing right now as well uh, and apparently you you know what this is by far the craziest thing ever they have dropped black ops 6 teaser trailer 
today the same day this game come came out or a day after this game came out they have started hyping up black Ops 6 to which uh, we have made a video on the channel i will link you towards the end and i'll link you in the pinned comment as well just kind of is wild and right already and, and right now a lot of people are shaking we even have the homie dalek oh, he started oh, i'm shaking he started shaking right on the front uh, on the front seat he started doing backflips and people are doing backflips right now uh while being on on a wheelchair so it's like everybody's getting excited right now about call of duty and yeah here we go again and uh we're gonna wait to find out why blame truth hates black ops 6 without even playing that game yeah but but even if he comes out with that it's gonna be saucy i would love it entertaining oh hell yeah i will make a video on it oh hell yeah but 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 see like Call of Duty's track record has been very, very bad. And it Thoughts used to hate Call of Duty, and now he has switched sides like he was in a Call of Duty lobby. So right now, he loves Call of Duty, apparently. I, yeah, I don't understand how that happened, but all right, I understand that people can change. And they always say, like, people change like the season. Bruh. Okay, I'll stop singing there. My singing is not the best. I, I, I get it, okay? You don't you don't have to tell me that. I got it, okay? But but I, I understand that people do change like the seasons. But I thought that it Thoughts was one of those guys that the seas it, it, he would be unaffected by this he's gonna stand tall after all he's what like six feet stud muffin something like that right he claims to be a stud muffin i don't know about that one. i don't know about that one okay uh yeah I, 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 listen man I, I find the humor very very good and uh <laughs> listen man I, I, I don't hate the guy i i, I got nothing against the guy first of all i want to say this there uh i, I quite frankly enjoy uh, his videos as well but like I, he's six feet some uh, some inches right so i thought that he would be unaffected by it but guess what i was wrong. wrong so he's now loving call of duty he's loving it way too much right now okay like lo loving that's not even like the right word to describe the amount of love the homie eight thoughts got right now in comparison to the amount of hate he had for call of duty back in the days okay so i didn't know how that happened eight thoughts if you're listening man i love you brother I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but, like, but like, hey, hey, and it's all banter. It's all banter. And at the end of the day, it's all video games. Uh, you loving it. Hey, man. She, man. I wish I could love the game as well. But, like, I I'm hoping that Black Ops 6 turns out to be good. So I'll start loving it like you are loving it right now. I wish that can happen for me as well. Like, hey, listen. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to be complaining 24-7. I'd rather hear you and everybody else complain and, like, see why you guys are complaining and make my video off of it as well and make my video on it and yeah and and put myself in like a therapy session coach and i get my therapy as well but deep down i want to love me a game too i want to be hyped for a game there's nothing wrong being hyped for a game i i miss the times when i was hyped for a game now it's like there's nothing other than gta 6 of course that's the only game but even right now gta 6 of course it's so far away and nothing new is coming from rockstar games they dropped the news and they peaced out right and that's it so even the hype in terms of like gta 6 is quite low it's gonna boom for sure but that's gonna be next year right for now we kind of stuck with this one bro majority 70 80 percent either don't like it or haven't even played it and of course the numbers on twitch are going to be big because it's brand new and everyone's playing it Day everyone one, wants to yeah. give it a try and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon and it's in the algorithms and of course everyone knows that's going to get you views right now but give me a week give me two weeks look at yeah. the numbers already yes they had 190,000. as of making this video there's 90,000 people playing it valorant has 120 something thousand people playing it just because it's more than call of duty on twitch doesn't make it like it's some kind of kill call of duty it just means it's popular yeah. right now but come back yeah. in a week or two yeah. in a month at most it'll be down to 15,000 10,000 and again and simple fact here is that I, I don't even want to talk about game being successful or not successful bad or good the simple fact here is that call of duty comes out every year and when the next black ops game comes out no second is going to be playing x defined the way they are playing it right now that's also like that's a fact objectively that's true because everybody's going to move over to the next warzone map and the next uh call of duty game and x defined is just going to be there and going to be there game does not have longevity that is just a fact and my point was that i hope people are still watching the video but if you're not go fuck yourself but everybody who's still here you're obviously enjoying this video subscribe as well as hit that like button if you're like, and subscribe, like and subscribe like thank you very much but like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe. But my point was is that i am just opposed to dummies trying to say that this is the next big first person shooter when there's no way yeah. whatsoever that is possible it lacks yeah. content not, it lacks not. any depth and it is a bare bones call of duty clone the, this is what i was saying in the last video as well like I, 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 yeah there are people on both sides saying that hey game is trash 
game is trash, game is trash. I guess we're gonna put Justin Trudeau, or I should say, eight thoughts there, right? And then you got like Blame Truth saying that the game is the best thing ever, and he he's saying that, but he also said he only played one game, so that doesn't help his case at all. So there are two sides right now. A one that loves the game. Okay, yeah, I also made a video on this uh, thing yesterday uh, on uh, on Assassin's Creed yesterday as well. Definitely check that out because apparently they have turned Yasuke uh, gay as well. So. Yeah, so I accidentally clicked on that, and now now that I was on it, I just mentioned that. I'll link you that video in a second. Yeah, if you didn't know, now you know, I guess. Yeah, so there's a lot of people mad with that, I guess rightfully so, because they turned uh, Yasuke, who was the only black man for in, in that time, probably not the only man, but only man that allegedly was a, a retainer or some belief samurai, whatever the case might be. So yeah, some people were disappointed with that because the game was set in Japan, so people wanted like a Japanese samurai. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but, but some people are like, so what? It, they had like a black protagonist in a in a feudal Japan setting. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Whatever, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. But now they have turned the black protagonist gay as well. So go figure. I, I had a video. I'll link you in just a second. But the point that I was trying to make is that uh, there's one group that hates the game the second group just loves the game M on myself i am right in the middle i feel like that this is not a call of duty killer just by looking at it i have not played it again my opinion probably is invalid a and my opinion in terms of uh, I, I cannot give you my opinion in terms of playing the game because I have not done that yet. But I'm giving my uh, giving you my opinion based uh, based off of what I'm seeing right now, just looking at the gameplay. So just look, even just looking at the gameplay, not a Call of Duty killer, okay? And it's also not uh, the trashiest game ever either. People, some people are finding it fun, and that's awesome. That's good to see. Uh, so I'm like right in the middle of it, but even then I do believe that the game is not gonna last the, the reason why I believe that is because I have seen so many games come and go They are so hot in the first week and then just die hyperscape I believe that's the name it was for that battle royale game that Ubisoft snooze made Ubisoft made and again This game is made by Ubisoft. So I mean go figure go figure Assassin's Creed being made by Ubisoft go figure so it's made by Ubisoft So no trust no credibility in that aspect and secondly uh, X Define doesn't look too good from a gameplay standpoint G playing wise it might be actually good though I'm not gonna like say it, it, it is or not okay but just based off looking at what's happening right now I don't think it's gonna be able to sustain uh, or stay successful uh, like in three months from now six months from now if, if that makes sense I, I hope it does because that means Call of Duty would have competition but let's uh, check this and especially after five months with Black Ops 6 drops, if you think anybody's making videos on X Defiance, if you think anybody will be streaming this game, you are nuts. Please send. Maybe you as a player might be playing the game, but what he's saying is true because YouTubers and everybody else would move on. Simply put, like, uh, People don't want to watch what's old, people want to watch new, YouTubers know that, everybody know that, so they will cater to that. They will make videos on something new, right? I do that all the time here. If I uh, upload a video on old news, you guys not watching it, you guys don't like that. So I gotta be on top of like the new information, the new news, right? Simple fact. So on this one, yeah, he's right. Send me money because you don't deserve to have any because you're an idiot. This game, you are six drops if you think anybody's making videos on extra fine if you think anybody will be streaming this game you are nuts please send me money because you don't deserve to have any because you're an idiot and you're just going to give it all the way to some kind of nft logan paul scam you moron but my point was and what i've been talking about the last two videos is that the game may be good which it isn't oh. it sucks it's horrible <laughs> and the main selling point everyone Man. kept trying to talk about and the main thing everyone focused on was lack of skill based matchmaking which yeah. if you have played it and you actually are honest, and you've been playing Call of Duty recently, unlike the clown father who openly admits he hasn't even played Modern Warfare 3 <laughs> since December, five months ago. The guy doesn't the even play the game, yet tries to give an opinion on it. The game that was yeah. launched in December as Modern Warfare... But, but he played one game, though. Come on, man. It's not like he never played it or, or didn't play. He played one game, man. One game is one game, man. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, he played one game, bro. He played one game. Warfare 3 is nowhere near anywhere the game we're playing right now for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in May 2024. And anyone trying to say I'm a COD shill, obviously they don't know who you're talking to. There has been no one, with no hyperbole, no exaggeration here, there has been no one in the Call of Duty community who has been oh, more critical for longer than yeah. I have. That is This is exactly why I was saying he switched sides, and he knows it. Bro, if, if you're listening, you have switched sides, bro. You have switched sides. What do you mean, bro? You have switched sides, bro. You have abandoned on your community, son. You have abandoned on your community, bro. You really did, bro. 
We all got it on your dumb ass. But now you are uh, being stunning and brave. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong with being stunning and brave. I believe uh, go stunning and be stunning and brave. After all, you were six feet some tall stud muffiny or stu stu studette, not stud muffin. Uh, we're going to take that title away from you right now. But like studette, okay, you're a studette. But, but like, holy crap, bro. Like we counted on you and we thought that you're going to be the one that's going to be, you know, like changing uh, the scene, perhaps making it better. But you started loving the game too, bro. Like what happened? Bro, what so yeah, bro. Like the the homie has switched sides and he's on that love Call of Duty train right now, all the way. It's not debatable. That is not an opinion. That is a fact. In fact, okay. don't care about your feelings, bitch. Yeah. Okay. I am the longest standing, most critical person to Call of Duty go. history. Here we go. That is yeah. a fact. So if you're trying to say my cod chill, I'm not. I'm just honest. Hate Call of Duty or want? <laughs> that's cool. But to say that no skill based matchmaking. Okay, I'm honest. Source me. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, like, source me, I'm honest. Index to find is somehow going to be a great big thing, huge thing, it's going to save you and you're going to love the game because you think skill-based matchmaking is the problem with Call of Duty or EOMM, yeah. then you're an idiot. Skill, yeah, not, on this part, I do agree because like skill-based matchmaking, absolutely, I want that gone as well, 110%. But skill-based matchmaking is not the, the only factor. The game needs to be good. J gameplay needs to be good needs to have good content describe good good content while well, maps maps and not every uh, piece of content needs to be like a BBC bundle not every piece of content needs to be a microtransaction to which you gotta pay uh, to access right like hey come on man can I really get like some content in the game can I really get? and after that if you have no skill based management you got a recipe right there of a banger though you feel what I'm saying but but yeah still uh, no skill based management but game needs to be better that's like priority number one People who play the game are the problem. There's sweats no matter where you go now in skill-based matchmaking or no skill-based matchmaking. It's going to be the same experience more or less. But anyways, yeah. I digress. Let's get back to ranting and raving about Call uh -oh. of Duty and the rest of these dumbasses out here who don't have a clue and can't deal with reality. Yeah, and guys, check out this video on the screen because apparently Black Ops 6 ended up getting leaked, my brothers. And we, uh, we also had an official teaser video. I put official teaser and the leaked video that's going viral right now in this video check it out on the left this is the assassin's creed uh gay bc drama that's going on as well a lot of people are upset with it check it out and i'll see you right there